Today, a very special unboxing. I just bought a Cartier. First impressions, I love the box. There's nothing that complicated about it. It's just a nice red box. It looks classy, it looks stylish, it looks expensive. Hey Rolex, why can't you make a box like this? And there it is, the Cartier tank. Pocket watch time. You know I'm a pocket watch fan. Today, we're talking about Cartier. Founded in 1847, Cartier has a long history. Initially known for making jewelry, leather goods, and of course what we're talking about today, watches. Probably their most famous and or iconic watch is the Santos. Eight years later came the Cartier tank. And a little bit of a disappointing fact, their first in-house movement wasn't for about a hundred years after that. This watch is the Cartier Tank Must, large size. Two versions of this watch are produced, a high autonomy quartz and a newer variant called the Solar Beat. Both are quartz movements, they just get their energy from different sources. This model is the high autonomy quartz model because it's the only model available on a bracelet. To my disappointment, the Solar Beat comes on a vegan leather strap made from apples. That's right, apples. The Cartier tank has a prestigious club of owners, including Louis Cartier himself. Many stars of the golden era, including Clark Gable, Gary Cooper, Duke Ellington, more modern wearers like Andy Warhol and Princess Diana, and even a few hit celebrities from today like Jeff Goldblum and Jason Momoa. Enough history, let's get onto the watch. Taking the watch out of the box, I must admit, this is the nicest pillow I've ever felt. Most pillows are so loose in the box, they just jiggle all over the place. This pillow is so tight, I have a hard time getting it out. The dial of the watch is very simple, very elegant, very standard Cartier. Clear font, Roman numerals, and in this model, a very hefty bracelet. The bracelet, though not integrated, really looks like it's one with the case. To me, the bracelet looks great. Inspecting the rest of the box, the floor comes up and you've got a storage compartment. Here you can see my booklet and some extra links. Once again, the tolerances of this box are very tight. So if you don't put everything just right, it takes a little work to get it to fit. It's a very quality box and I think more brands should emulate this. All right, let's remove the watch from the pillow and take a closer look. I'm not sure if this is a negative or a positive, but the bracelet clasp is so tight. It really is a secure clasp. And now it's time to reveal a little secret. I didn't buy this watch for me. I bought this watch for my wife. So who better to model it? Here we can see an extreme close-up of the watch. There's a few mysteries hidden in the dial. Cartier is famous for disguising its name in the Roman numeral font. Another tell is that this dial can differentiate the solar version from the quartz version. In the quartz version, the Roman numerals connect. In the solar version, they do not. Truthfully, this is really the only difference that you can spot visually between the solar and the quartz version. This watch also hides another unique feature that I think most brands should emulate. The watch has a wonderful quick release mechanism. So if you want to switch from a metal bracelet to a more formal looking leather strap, you can do it in a minute. No tools required. Eventually, I'll buy my wife the leather strap. No apples. 
looking a little closer at the clasp, it's really a good quality clasp. The tolerances are very tight, maybe too tight. It's hard to open sometimes. But the curve of the clasp perfectly hugs your wrist. Well done, Cartier. So let's wrap up this review and go over a couple pros and cons. Pros. Cartier is a great brand. The Cartier tank has a timeless design. And I'm actually pleasantly surprised by the quality. It's a very heavy watch and feels wonderful in the hand. Is it a con? The price might be a little high. It's a quartz movement. You're mostly paying for the brand name. I'd prefer an automatic movement, but for my wife, quartz is perfect. And of course, my biggest pet peeve in watches, little to no water resistance. For a watch over $3,000, I would like to be able to get my hands wet. But all in all, I think it's a great watch, and I hope my wife gets many years of enjoyment with it. Maybe this will even open the door to watch collecting for her. Maybe she'll get more watches in the future. I hope you enjoyed this little review. I'll catch you in the next one.